Hey guys, it's Kevin again. This is going to be another classic movie review for you guys. This time reviewing to you the another movie from 1991. The last movie review was also from 1991. And uh, this movie is too, It's but it's a completely different type of movie. It's the 1991 um, dramedy classic My Girl. Um, now this was a movie that I... W another movie that Netflix recently added. Um, there are a couple movies that I was, you know, recently added to my list because Netflix added them. Again, all the movies I review come from Netflix, in case you guys didn't know that. Um, but basically, this movie was a movie that I was always looking forward to watching. I heard it's it's a really great movie. Very sad, but really good. I went into this movie fully aware of the ending, and it was still effective. The movie was still very effective, and I love the movie. I loved it. It's probably one of my favorite um, coming-of-age movies. I think it's such a great movie. It's a movie that everyone should really watch, um, especially if you are um, Veda and Thomas's age. Um, you should definitely watch this movie. But let's talk about this movie. This movie basically focuses on this girl named Veda. She is this tomboyish girl full of medical issues, always thinking that something is wrong with her. She's basically a hypochondriac. Um, that's what she is. Uh, she always thinks something's wrong with her. And the reason is because um, her father Harry is um, works in this funeral part and works in this funeral parlor. But the funeral parlor is right in their house. Um, is right in their house. So her house is not even only her house. It's also a funeral parlor. And basically, Jamie Lee Curtis um, comes over. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis's character Shelley comes over, who is basically a makeup artist at the funeral home. Um, and, uh, she becomes, she starts to have a very good bond with Veda. However, the only person that really makes Veda happy is this boy Thomas, uh, Thomas J, who's played by Macaulay Culkin, of course. Great actor, by the way. Very good actor. Not good in Party Monster. Not good in that. I am not reviewing that piece of shit for you, Party Monster. Don't even get me started with that movie, but he was good in everything else. Um... But, um, he basically is this boy who she gets, you know, very, very much, um, their best friends, her only best friend is Thomas J. They're very good friends, and he's, like, allergic to everything, and basically the movie is her, this one summer, and, uh, her summer, basically, this one summer, um, and basically everything else that's going on with her. In the meantime, you know, she's taking this writing class, she has a crush on her teacher, um, which, you know, a lot of people do at her age, Mr. Bixer, um, she, um, by the way, she's 11 years old, and she's recent, she's, um, going into adolescence, she's starting to, um, you know, develop more, um, so yeah, that's basically what the movie's about, it's basically about her summer, and that's why the movie's called My Girl. So, um, basically, I love this movie, and part of the reason I love this movie was the acting, let's get to the acting, the acting was very good in this movie, um, by far the best part of this movie is, uh, Anna Chum, um, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Chulamuski? Chulmuski? I don't know how you pronounce her name. I've never seen this girl do anything else besides my girl, but wow, is she amazing. She was like 11 when she did this movie, so she was awesome in this role. I mean, you really cared for her character. You saw that her character had a lot of issues. You cared for her character a lot. Um, she was a very good character. Very good um, child actress as well. A lot of, like, child actors can't really act, but she could act very, very well, and she was definitely very good, and I really liked her character a lot. Um, Macaulay Culkin, as I said, played Thomas J. I saw a lot of... There was a lot of chemistry between him and um, Veda. I thought they had a lot of chemistry, friendship chemistry, and possible um, lover chemistry as well. Because, um, you know, everyone pretty much thinks they are, they're actually boyfriend and girlfriend. All the other kids think that. But I thought that was kind of funny, but there were some very funny scenes between them that I really liked. And what I like about this movie is that it's actually very funny, most of it, until, it get, until like, the very end. Um, Dan Aykroyd, as her father, I thought he did a very good job. I liked how in the beginning he was kind of like a workaholic. He didn't pay much attention to her. Um, but then Shelly kind of changed him. And Jamie Lee Curtis, very, very good. This might be one of my favorite roles for Jamie Lee Curtis. Um... Obviously, the best movie she was in was Halloween. That was, like, her best acting of all time was in that movie. However, she was still very good in this movie. Very, very good. Um, very good acting from her. I really liked her character. I liked the bond between her and Veda and everyone, she, you know, she bonded with. She bonded with them very well, and I really enjoyed her character a lot. Um, Richard uh, Macer played uh, Harry's brother, Phil. I liked how um, funny he was. He was very funny, definitely. 
I did like that um, Harry was, like, so professional with him, and he was not professional at all. He was basically just goofing off a lot of the time. He was a lot of fun to watch. Griffin Dunn is uh, Mr. Bixer, also very good. I thought he did a very good job in the movie. Um, I like the I li I like that he really did have a strong bond with Veda, but he wanted to keep. But you know, obviously he didn't love her. But she, I like like I like the way um you know the bond he had between um Veda and him was very strong. I thought they had a very good bond, and I really enjoyed their bond as well. And then Anne Nelson, this is kind of a funny role. It's sad too though. Uh, she plays her grandma Gramu. She calls her um. And basically, her grandmother's dying from Alzheimer's, but the funny thing is, she randomly starts singing. So, like, there's this one scene where there's a funeral, and she just starts singing. For whatever reason, I found it funny. I found it funny. I know you're not supposed to, but I found that scene kind of funny. So let's talk about the spoilers in this movie. I'm sure you guys know what happens, but if you've never seen My Girl, don't listen to the rest of this review, because you're going to have the entire movie spoiled for you, which is really bad, because this is not a movie you want spoiled for you. Oh, but if, well, before I get to that, let's get to the directing. The directing of this movie was Howard Zeef. Um, he did a very good job with this movie. He also did... Um, not too many other things, actually. He did My Girl and My Girl 2, which, yes, this movie did have a sequel, which I'm not reviewing to because I heard it's not as good, but... Um, he did a very good job of portraying this movie, like, the, the tone he set in this movie. The movie takes place in 1971. He really set that tone very well, like, the music and everything, the, the clothing, everything worked very well. You really felt like you were in the 1970s, and that was a good thing. I thought he did a very good job with doing that. Um, so, yeah, he did a great job of making this movie take place in 1971. Um, but now let's get to the spoilers. If you guys have not seen My Girl, do not listen to the rest of this review. Okay, so of course, as we know, uh, Thomas, I'm pretty sure you guys know this already. I'm sure anyone that's seen this movie knows the ending, and you will admit that it made you cry, because of course, Thomas J goes back to get the mood ring for Veda. He steps in the beehive, and he's stunned by all those bees, and as we know, Veda said he was allergic to everything, and I knew he was gonna die. I was just, it was so sad knowing, I knew he was gonna die already, because my parents had warned me that it was a very sad scene, and I said I wasn't gonna cry. I almost cried. I didn't cry, but I teared up a little bit, because you have to. It's one of the saddest movies I've seen, definitely. It's a very effective death, though, because it really changes Veda. Like, like, she starts understanding more things, she starts to be a little bit more serious, because, you know, in the movie, she kind of was just this innocent child, and it's very cool to see her go from this innocent child to this more, like, mature, um, mature, um, teenager, because she starts to go into a teenager, because, you know, in the movie, she got her period and things like that in, in the movie, which, that was an that was, um, a big scene, of course, um, so yeah, I thought that was definitely interesting. I'm glad they made her 11 too, because it worked very well with the movie. And that one scene, you know, where she just, the famous line, put his glasses on, put his glasses on. And you know that he's dead, and but she's just so crushed by it. And I just felt so bad for her, because that was the only thing she had. The only thing that made her happy was dead. And it was just so sad. But I was really happy that Shirley did eventually reach out to Harry and told him, Hey, look, you gotta be, you gotta care more for her. I know that you like your work and everything, but your daughter comes first, and I was glad that finally they actually had a good bond, and it actually made her relationship with her father stronger, which I liked, and I just thought it was a very good ending to the movie. I really enjoyed about the movie. I thought the movie was very, very strong. That way, like, the way they ended the movie was very, very good. I liked that in the end she did become friends with that other girl. That's kind of like, oh, you know, she's going to become good friends with her. They're going to become really good friends, and it's going to get better for her. I, I like that about the movie. I definitely did enjoy that. Honestly, this movie really did not need a sequel. I also thought it was interesting that, you know, she thought she killed her mother. And, of course, her father told her, you did not kill her mother. She just um, died in childbirth, which, of course, is very, very sad. But I thought that was definitely a very good, um, you know, very good ending. I just, I love the ending of the movie. I thought the ending was very good. And I just thought it was a very powerful ending, in my opinion. I was very into this movie. And... Again, the other thing I like about the movie is the shift in tone. You know, the beginning of the movie, it's very fun to watch, but then at the end, it gets really sad, but it works because that's the coming of age there. Because in the beginning, it really shows the innocence in, um, in, um, in, Ve in Veda. And then at the end, I almost forgot her name, in Veda. And then the ending of the movie, it shows more of her going into that serious stage. And I really like that about the movie a lot. They did a very good job with doing that. And I really enjoyed it. 
But overall, I loved My Girl. It's a movie that everyone should watch, especially if you're going through adolescence. Um, definitely check them, check it out. Like if if you're say not my age, if you're like the age of Veda, like 11, 10, 12, anyone in that age should definitely watch this movie because it'll definitely be very effective for you, and I feel like if you're that age, you'll like it more. For me, I loved it. I loved it because it really reminded me back of that time, um, you know, when I was 11 and 12 and things like that. When I was her, when I was Veda's age, I was exactly like her. I was an idiot. I was. I did not take anything seriously. I was really stupid. Um, so yeah, I remember when I was 11. I was really dumb. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed My Girl. I really, um, hope you guys enjoy the movie. Please check out the movie because it's really great. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my, um, next video, which will be for either another classic movie review or for my review of Big Brother. One of those two videos, so I'll see you guys for that. Okay, bye.